Hey, and welcome to Daily GA4 Tips, where I'm giving GA4 tips daily. And today I want to show you how to solve not set in your GA4 lending reports. Be sure to watch till the end because I want to give you something for free as well at the end. So the report that we're talking about is here in GA4 under reports and then under engagement and then landing page. And if you open up the landing page report of your GA4 property, you will probably find that a lot of traffic is attributed to a landing page that's called not set. And this means that GA4 doesn't really know what the landing page was exactly. And on my side, if I search not set, third of my traffic is attributed to landing pages. And often a lot of uh, revenue or conversions are also attributed to the landing page not set. It changes from side to side, but on most sites that are open, not set is in the top five of the landing page report. So it's a very common issue that all GA4 properties currently have. All right, so let's talk about why landing page not set is even there. What's causing landing page not set to be there in the first place? Well, it has to do with two tracking mechanisms that GA4 has in place. And uh, as an example, let's just open up my own site. The first tracking mechanism that I'm talking about is the page view tracker. So I just opened up my homepage, so GA4 tracks that I opened up a homepage. It tracks a page view. And that page view is really important because if it's the first page view of your session, that page view will dictate what landing page you have. So if I open up my homepage and this is the first page that I view during the session, then the homepage will be a landing page. So that's the first tracking mechanism. The second tracking mechanism that I'm talking about is called user engagement. And that is basically the mechanism that tries to find out like, is this person still reading? Is this person still engaging with my site? So every time while I'm reading, once every couple of minutes, GA4 will automatically track a user engagement event to track how long I'm spending here on this site. So the reading times and the engagement times that you see in GA4 are really precise because GA4 has kind of this clock mechanism in the background to find out how long your users are spending on the page. And even when I open up a new tab and I go to a different page, Page, J4 will recognize that the tab is currently not active and it will stop tracking. It will stop tracking user engagement events. And this is where a landing page not set sometimes happens because a user might have a gazillion tabs open. Your tab is in the background. So by default, if there's no activity for about half an hour, that session will be closed off. So let's say your user is spending time on your site, goes to a different site, has your tab open but not active and waits for one hour, two hours, and then decides to go back to your site. Well, the second tracking mechanism, the user engagement, will start working again. So it will start tracking user engagement. It will see that you have the tab active and it will start tracking this user engagement event to estimate like how long is this person reading the site. But because the page was already open, it won't track a page view. And because it took a little while for that person to get back to the site, the session was already closed. So it will open a new session based on the user engagement mechanism. But because the page was already open, it will not track a page view at first. And that's the scenario where you do track a user engagement, but you don't track a page view first. So you open up a session based on that second mechanism. That's the scenario where your landing page not set occurs in your reports. So let's talk about how you can solve this. How can you change this behavior so the landing page not set doesn't occur as often in your reports? Well, you can do this by increasing the default session timeout. Because by default, if a user is not active for half an hour, that session will close by default. But if you increase that time, this whole behavior will occur a lot less. Because if a user is inactive for a couple of hours and then decides to go back, that session will just continue. And you can do this via the admin. And then under data streams, then you need to open up the data stream of your site. Scroll down, go to configure text settings. Then scroll down again, press show more, then open adjust session timeout. So as you can see here, the default session timeout setting is 30 minutes, but you can increase this to seven hours, 55. And that will 
drastically decrease the landing page not set in your GA4 reports. However, you need to be aware that you will report a lot less sessions because GA4 will think that a session has continued. So to be honest, I don't really like to change the default behaviors in GA4. I prefer to keep it like on the default settings, so zero and then 30 minutes. Perhaps in the future, I will try to make a GTM recipe to solve this a different way. But for now, this is the only way known that uh, you can solve the landing page not set on your site. So before I close off the video, I want to give you a bonus gift as well. I have made a short cheat sheet on how you can grow your website traffic. So if you want to grow your website traffic, just head over to the video description. There's a link over there where you can download that cheat sheet for free. It's basically 15 years of my experience in analytics, working with websites and growing traffic condensed in a short document. So if you're interested, go ahead into the video description to download that cheat sheet. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.